council people. <coughs> My name is Walter Reed from the island of Molokai, and I've been here before. <coughs> and my wife keeps asking me, what the hell are you doing flying to Oahu all the time? And I ask myself the same question. Um, I just finished um, an unsuccessful trip for the Office of Foreign Affairs, and what I got out of it was I had to travel to every single island, I went to all of the districts and places that I would never have done. If I wasn't running for Omaha. So I think my value here today is to try and, you know, not try to persuade you or anything like that, but to give you my perspective from people from the outside looking at Oahu as being like the main thing that's controlled the state of Hawaii and what people are thinking. Um, I think you guys, you know, I, I've been in boardrooms and stuff, and when you're in a boardroom, it's your little world, and you think that whatever happens in your little world <coughs> translates into the rest of the world, and sometimes it bounces back, and it doesn't work. So I wanted to just give you some perspective of what's going on out there. And it, it comes from a grassroots level, um, and maybe even from a hippie level, I'm not sure. Because when I first got involved in GMOs, that's all I was involved with. I went to um, Maui, and the room was full of hippies. And that's when I, this was like four or five years ago. When first heard about GMOs. And I went to the county council and they said, hey, wait, now we're a bunch of hippies from the mainland tell us how to run our county. And I said, yeah, you know, I, I can't understand what you guys are saying. So we went out and tried to get non-hippie people. <laughs> <laughs> myself, so they used to have long hair, but, you know, Tiki from Hani and Tiki from Ankle, and we took on the United States military. And, who right. was calling us hippies back then? Right. So I'm okay with the, with the hippie stuff. <laughs> um, but I think what you guys need to realize is that you guys have put your, you know, whatever move you just made, you made yourself the lightning rod in the whole state of Hawaii. And you guys are gonna get it. I, like, <laughs> I said, what? what? You know, I mean, you guys are manipulating the, the system. The way that they did with the PLDC and all hell broke loose, people are frustrated out there. They're frustrated with government because I don't know if you guys see it. I mean, they're in your rooms every day, but these corporations are making all of us really nervous out there. They're making us really nervous because it's mostly our fault because we haven't participated in government. We don't vote. We're the worst nation. I mean, state in a nation when it comes to voting. So we can take some of the blame. But it doesn't matter who's to blame. I think the issue is what is going on here. So I don't know why you guys did this, but it, it, it's it, and it's pretty complicated. You know, I don't understand every all the maneuvering that's going on. But it doesn't matter how complicated the maneuvering is. What matters is that we don't understand. And and because we don't understand, we're not going to trust because we're getting burnt out there. My kids and my grandkids. Lived in dust. And that's not the human body, but this dust doesn't have to be there if they do simple ground covering kinds of techniques. In this dust is all these chemicals. And I'll be goddamn if I'm going to sit back and let my grandkids breathe this stuff so somebody can have cheap food somewhere. We cannot go to Congress. We can only come to you guys. You guys are like the base. We talk to you guys, and hopefully it'll get up the ladder. When you guys start shutting the door to us, and we got no recourse, then we gotta do it ourselves. We gotta go on the streets, we gotta go out there, we gotta get arrested, we gotta do all these things to protect our kids because you guys are not listening. Yeah. Five years ago, I don't blame anybody for not listening. But I was here today, I came and I heard, and I heard reputable people telling you guys the same story. It's consistent. You know, it's like, yep, it's a simple no-brainer. A label. How did a simple label issue come to this level? <laughs> I mean, ask yourself that question. I mean, a simple labeling issue is now, you guys are now going to be the lightning rod in the state. It just doesn't make any sense to me anyway. Um, if the outside islands, they don't 
you know, they all said, okay, 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 and then you guys said no. And you guys shut it out like you guys did last year. You won't do it again this year. And then you have the state telling the counties. Well, you guys, you guys part of the, I mean, you guys just walk across the street over there and you guys, you know, talking to each other about whatever things you guys talk to each other about, make sure everybody's on the same track so you guys can get what you want. The guys on the outside island, they all got to get together to talk over here because we don't, we don't have that. So you got sticking together is critical. And you guys, they're bossing that. You guys, these counties, they're bossing all the county powers. You guys, they're breaking the powers of the outside islands. And then you guys come to our islands and say, we need energy. How do you guys want to give us energy? <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like, if we're all going to leave here, we're all going to stick together. You know, it's like, can it be Oahu-centric? Mm. We're not going to survive. Mm. So the outside islands, two years running, is saying stuff, and you guys are going to block them two years in a row, then you guys are going to start splitting up the counties. So I'm here from Molokai to say that we got three islands, and we all try to stick together in order to survive. So I don't know what you guys are doing with this maneuvering stuff, but let the process go. Don't bring suspect to you guys by clouding up the stuff. Process and making it all complicated like they did with the PLDC. Yeah, they followed the law, but any fool can see 115 hours is not. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like, we're not that stupid out here. We worry about our land and we worry about our kids. That's the message. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, members. I did get an opportunity to uh, be at the state capitol uh, last February, I believe you held a rally. Is that oh, right? yeah. Sorry, I called you the wrong name. <laughs> <laughs> you had a rally. <laughs> and my question to you is, uh, if this council were to reinstate what the other three counties had advanced, uh, it's basically just telling the state legislature... This is a resolution. Have a hearing. So, question to you is, question to you is, what harm what harm could this council do today by putting GMO back into this resolution? What's the harm if Clifton Suji and Clarence Nishihara and the new Speaker of the House and the Senate President don't listen anyway? So what harm could we possibly do? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, that, that's a good question. <laughs> it's a resolution, my gosh. It's a, a simple resolution. And people are saying, I can't even get a resolution to protect my kids. I can't even get a hearing to protect my kids. What is government coming to? You know, so there's no harm. I mean, all it does is it gives us, the people, more ammunition to try and persuade the state government who is going to try and persuade the federal government. So this business about corporations taking over our, it's, it's in everybody's home. It's in everybody's lips. They're deathly afraid that we're losing governments to the corporations. I tell you, it's, it's out there. I've gone statewide and it's everywhere. That's, that's what you see in the PLDC. That becomes a lightning rod. Now this is going to become another, another issue. <laughs>